Hey, Steph listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Friday, December 8th, 2023, and now here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. The Middle East was the fastest growing tourism region this year until the Israel Hamas war began in October. No other region in the world saw its tourism fully recover this year, let alone surpass their pre pandemic level, reports DeWitt Hoptimerium, Skiff's global tourism reporter. Through September, the Middle East saw its international tourist arrivals rise 20% above pre pandemic levels, according to the UN World Tourism Organization. Two factors boosting Middle Eastern tourism were expanded air connectivity by airlines like Emirates and investments by tour operators like Intrepid Travel. Those ongoing strengths may help the broader region rebound if a truce in Gaza is brokered. Next, more travel companies are investing in the potential for artificial intelligence to help overhaul both customer sales and internal operations. Amazon Web Services had a conference last week sharing AI-based updates to services used by travel companies such as Accor, Cathay Pacific, and Booking.com, reports Justin Dawes, Skift's tech reporter. Exhibit A was a new AI-based trip planning tool from Accor, the Paris-based hotel group. The chatbot helps recommend rooms at a hotel as well as local tours and activities based on answers to questions it asks travelers and past customer reviews of activities. Accor's new chatbot may help travelers find it easier to plan trips. It may also reduce call volumes at Accor's contact center. Finally, travel startup Kluke has raised $210 million in financing. Kluke has now raised more than $900 million in financing since its founding in 2014, reports Sean O'Neill, Skift's senior hospitality editor. The Asia-based startup with offices in Hong Kong and Singapore competes with Berlin-based Get Your Guide as the most heavily funded startup in selling travel experiences such as walking tours. Bessemer Venture Partners and other notable investors took part in the funding round. Kluke said it was profitable and was aiming to go public someday. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skift.com. To find these stories and more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. Hey, Skift listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.